All right, this video is going to start introducing you into using differential equations to sketch some solution curves. So a little calculus review. Remember that the derivative gives you the slope of the tangent line. And there are a lot of words here that are snipped from the textbook um, that I would actually like to uh, kind of gloss over a little bit. If you'd like to pause and read all of it, you can. But I really want to look down here at the graphs. So if you want to look at a function, and I believe here, yes, it gives us um, a function, but I maybe know at this point, two, three, that my derivative is 1.2. And you can see up here in the work when they plugged in the point x equals 2, y equals 3, they got a slope of 1.2. So you could draw in a line that has that slope right here. Well, that means probably the actual solution curve follows that same general trend if the slope of the tangent line at that point is 1.2. Now you can do this for all the x values in the domain and create what's called a directional field or slope field, which is essentially all of the tangent lines at all possible x values. So this is the graph of the slopes that satisfy this differential equation. And you can kind of follow along. If you know a value, then you can kind of follow those curves to see like, oh, well, that would be the solution if I knew this initial condition here. Similarly, if I maybe knew this one, then maybe I could see, like I could backtrack it and find that solution curve there, so that's why it's called a directional field. Um, and notice our directions for this class will go negative x's to positive x's. So we'll always go left to right. Um, it just makes more sense in application problems like time and those types of things. All right, so let's look at this example here. So this is a directional field for this differential equation. And I want to sketch a solution curve for each one of these. So if I know my initial condition goes through 0, 3. So whatever, like this is the differential equation. This is the derivative. My solution is going to be like y equals blah, 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 blah. Okay, something like that. Where I could take the derivatives, plug that in, solve it, though, you know, go through all of that. So um, if I knew that that derivative, or I'm sorry, that solution curve goes through the point 0, 3, then that solution curve must look like this. In fact, anytime x equals 0, notice that my slopes are 0. Well, that's because if x equals 0 and I plug that in, then I get my derivative is zero. I'm gonna go ahead and change my color so I can do this other one. Okay, let's say instead I'm at the point one, zero. Well, if I plug in y equals zero, I'm always going to have my derivative of zero, but then that means that my solution curve through the x-axis is this line here. All right, last one we'll look at. What if this is my initial condition? All right, negative one, negative two. If I just follow the solution curve, I can see that that would be my solution curve if this was my initial condition.